Free-floating planktonic bacteria are present in your water supply, treatment plant, storage tanks, and the distribution network. As a survival instinct, there are three ways to survive and grow the population. One is to fight with your opponent or enemy, the second is to run away from your opponent, and the third is to hide. For their survival and multiplication, bacteria use the third option of hiding. For this, some of the free-flowing planktonic bacteria settle on the inner surface and subsequently produce extracellular polymeric substances, EPS, which is made up of proteins, polysaccharides, lipids, etc., which act like glue for cells. Bacteria cells and EPS form a sticky and slimy layer on surfaces called biofilm. Bacteria are protected and multiply under the protective layer of the biofilm. Biofilm is the perfect environment for the proliferation of the pathogens. A typical water treatment plant and the distribution network have multiple places where a biofilm can be formed. Some of the examples where a biofilm can be formed easily are storage tanks, pipes, valves, pumps, filters, strainers, sensor probes, joints, gaskets and o-rings. From time to time, the biofilm ruptures, and planktonic bacteria are released into the water. These planktonic bacteria settle again on the new surface and form new layers of biofilm. Under newly developed biofilm, bacteria can hide, and new bacteria colonies are developed. Highly concentrated biocide is essential to effectively sanitize the entire water system and distribution network, which can prevent bacterial proliferation and biofilm formation. The most common chemical biocides are chlorine, monochloramines, sodium hypochlorite, and chlorine dioxide. Other biocides include parasitic acid and hydrogen peroxide. The main disadvantage of all chlorine-based disinfectants is that they produce harmful and carcinogenic disinfectant byproducts. All chemical-based sanitizers need a higher CT value, meaning a higher disinfectant concentration and longer contact time, due to which most disinfectants are not effective on biofilm. Over time, the bacteria can develop resistance to chemical sanitizers. Also, all chemical-based sanitization needs fresh water for rinsing, making systems susceptible to recontamination. Against this, when ozone is used as a disinfectant, the oxidation of planktonic bacteria is faster. At the same time, ozone is highly effective in oxidizing the biofilm and doesn't need rinsing. A strategically designed integrated oxidation system can eliminate the commonly found pseudomonas, salmonella, and E. coli from the water. Now, the water is not only free from planktonic bacteria but also from the biofilm.